let's get back to this. Let me close all this out. Okay, Dark Souls 2. What do you have in store for me today? What what do you have for me to encounter today? <coughs> boy, oh boy, I wonder. Just a little update on my health. Um, the coughing's gotten worse, but beyond that, it's gotten to the point now where I think I've been coughing so much and so hard that I feel like I've thrown my back out. So like even like being on the toilet and like bending over in front of me to grab the toilet paper, just like even that hurts like hell. I tried to pick up a hamper the other day and it felt like I was breaking my spine in half. Okay. So I remember when we left off, I was, uh, yeah, I died to Dukes to Freya, and I switched over to this Twin Blade just to check the damage, because so I believe the damage is going to be a little bit better with this. Since Duke de Freya is resistant to magic, I don't believe that uh, the Dragon Rider Twin Blade is going to be any better. Hey, man. So we're probably just going to run. Well, actually, no, we're not going to run, because this area up here is hell if we run. <coughs> or actually, it's already open. We can try. We can try to do the little loop loop that I, know I normally do. You can also get a decent pyromancy in this room, if I remember correctly. And hey, man. Alright, Dukes to Freya. And the boss that I have lost my fucking mind on once upon a, tw once upon a time doing a magic only playthrough. That's three hits. Uh, uh, that's three hits, though. What was this? Was two hits, right? Um, let me just damage check real quick. Oh shit! Nope, you don't see me. do a damage check before I walk into the arena. Yeah, that's so much more damage. I'm just going to stick with this. Even though it does magic damage, I'm going to stick with it. Two hits is way better than three. Why did he roll? Oh god. Those stomps can basically one-shot you. Hey, you remember? Okay. And so these adds can also one-shot you. Is he gonna do his little... Yep. No damage on the boss. Looking great. What can I say? I'm gonna try to move in on the other side here because there's no spiders over here. Or not. One hit, boys. Let's fucking go.
Yeah, those steppy stomps can fuck you up real bad. Come on. I'm worried about that. Yeah. One of, like, the worst design bosses. <laughs> Don't remember it jumping? There's probably going to be a lot of things you don't remember, man. Like, I, I think I've seen everything this boss can actually do. Just because I've fought it so many goddamn times. And doing a magic-only run of this is just the worst thing you could possibly do for yourself if you if you wanted to actually remain sane cuz this boss is also highly magic resistant motherfucker is this original or scholar it's original this is base dark souls 2 You know, we're just um, what, five minutes into this fight. Two hits on the boss. Good time, good time. Uh-oh. Okay. That's, that's a fucking one-shot. Gotta love it. Clipping, man. I'm dead. That's a nice glaive. Too bad it doesn't do shit for damage. That's like all the twin blades. They don't do shit for damage. Two-handing it is basically pointless. Two-handing it adds more hits to the combo but it reduces the damage so much to where it's basically pointless to do so. Like, to do more damage with the glaive, your, be your, your best bet is just a one-hand R2. And I can't even get sips out of this thing because the ice is blocking it. God damn it. God damn it. Bad times, man. Bad times. Grinding for the Black Knight Glaive? You can't grind for the Black Knight Glaive. What the fuck are you talking about? There is no Black Knight Glaive. There's a Black Knight Halberd in Dark Souls 1, a completely different game, and you can't even grind for that. You just... Either you get it or you don't. back to the regular twin blade I know it does less damage on the mini spiders but I, I still kind of want to test its damage on actual Dukes to Freya so it's a three hit it's a three hit kill for the uh, at, like the small spiders but I, I still want to test its damage on the actual boss shot me that'd be great right down the road yeah we're in that area unfortunately I didn't I, I'm not picking up the Murakumo this time otherwise this fight would have probably been done drop here then we drop here we roll off of this and put this and the boss is right there 
don't hit me, please. Thank you. It does the same damage, oh my god. Yeah, those little hippie hops, those little hippie hops are one shots. They're, they're, they're great, they're awesome. One shots are just great game design, what can I say? The boss is weak to fire. Well, it's, uh, it's really dope that I'm using a fire build, isn't it? God, why do I keep slowing? So the one time you don't ignore that input is when I actually need you to. Okay. I'm dead. Yeah. And you might be asking yourself, uh, why, why not try to roll through that beam? Um, I've been trying. <laughs> the first, like, four times it seemed like I just stood there and let it kill me, I wasn't. I was trying to roll, and my character just kept refusing to roll and just let it, like, let themselves get hit. So I'm no longer trying to roll. So what's with the Twin Blaze anyways? Are you forcing yourself to use it? Man, you really don't know me, do you? Like, the fact that you're even asking that question implies that you've, like, never seen me ever play a video game. The whole point of this playthrough was to use the Twin Blades. So... I'm using the Twin Blades. I'm getting ROM flashbacks. ROM's a better fight than this. 100%. Just straight up. Like, they're, they're not even comparable. It's like ROM has all the things this boss does, but ROM's just not a shitty fight. This just, in every sense, is a shitty fight. I knew it back when I loved this game, and I know it now. Since you're looking up weaknesses, what is uh, do? How does Duke? How does Duke de Freya feel about hexes? <coughs> Just so I know for next run. That's not that alone isn't is not gonna make me abandon that hex run, but Oh, look at that. I hit it at a slightly wrong angle, so it just ignored all the damage. Man, it's awesome. Man, I just whoever designed this fight needs a raise. But look, before I was talking shit out of frustration, now I'm just talking shit because I actually hate this fight. Like, I know it's a shit fight, and, like, having grown and, like, actually paid attention to, like, game design and, like, game theory, um, even now I know it's a shit fight, just to even more of an extent. 
Also love how that beam hits you before it actually hits you. That's awesome. Need more fights like it. Doesn't say anything about Hex? Good. That means it's probably neutral. Hex is dark magic, by the way. It's what Dark Souls 2 calls dark magic. Cool, glad I wasted the stamina on that. I'm gonna die right here. I'd rather take the guard break. Three hits, that's good. That was a satisfying encounter. We're gonna go for another one. That's two hits, get the stamina back, back off. I'll take that guard break, it's fine. <coughs> <coughs> Man, this is real engaging gameplay, just running in a circle the whole time. <laughs> And why does, like, everything this guy does slow you? Like, he just does little tippy-tap stomps to, like, mind, to, like, adjust himself in a minor way. And I'm supposed to believe that that's doing, like, the ground trimmers to stagger me. When I fought the fucking last giant, and he did basically nothing that ever staggered me. Back up. Am I stuck? And it doesn't matter um, if you kill these small spiders, they just respawn. Because, you know, that's, it's, a, it's a great game design. feel about this boss, honestly. That cough perfectly embodies how I feel about this boss. And no one else is home as well, so I can be really loud and talk hella shit. Bro, all I'm saying is, they're lucky that in the credits it doesn't tell me who made what bosses. Otherwise, I'd probably have this motherfucker's name memorized. <laughs> Again, this is like the game where they just like sat in a room and was like, anybody got any ideas? And they just took everything. Cool. You know, I was behind the leg where I shouldn't have been hit, but you let me be hit anyways because it has a massive fucking hitbox at least beyond its visual, like, I, visual cue. Music movement while drinking Estes? Yes. Cool. Love it. Awesome. Cool. Look at the boss.
I'll take it. No, I won't. I'm gonna die. Mini spiders. Okay, they were. They decided to be kind. I guess. I'll take the hit stun <coughs> of the guard break. <coughs> the attack I want. Very uh, interesting that no spiders are spawning right now. Uh, I spoke too fucking soon. I remember on my fire playthrough, I fucking destroyed Dukes de Freya, man. Absolutely demolished this fucking boss. And not because it's super weak to fire, but because it ha I had Chaos Firestorm. And I just burned at all the little spiders. They were all just burned to death. The boss took super heavy damage. All the little spiders burned to death. Man, that was a glorious playthrough. That whole playthrough was fucking nice. No, I'm, I'm not taking my chances with you. I'll take the beam damage. Run? Hello? Fuck you, you piece of shit. Get over here. Finally. Okay. Hate that boss. I always have, always will. I may defend parts of this game, you'll never catch me defending that boss. What's that? You got a back? Here, can I, let me see that back real quick. It's pretty back you got there. 500 damage. Pretty much 600 damage. Unupgraded base dagger you find in the tutorial. Just uh, some of that Dark Souls 2 charm. <laughs> Can I backstab this guy? Hell yeah. Look at that, baby. 600 damage. Let's go. Unupgraded base dagger you find in the tutorial. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it, fam. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot about this. That did scare me a little bit. Fun fact, this wasn't always in the game. <laughs> Look, man, I would destroy it, but I don't have the damage to do that, honestly. Made more appearances later in the game, it does. It happens uh, again at the entrance to the crypt. In later games oh. I mean that that was always a big thing every time uh, I think starting with Dark Souls 2 like Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 before the games came out there was always rumors that they were gonna add mimic bonfires there was even like some people who drew up concept art of what that would look like So we've killed all four of the, I guess, whatever you want to call them. So now we're heading to Drangleic Castle. I'm a little worried about a lot of things, to be honest. Our damage is not good. Our damage is actually very bad. Um, granted, we'll be able to get another upgrade for our twin, our, our, our Dragon Rider Twin Blade. We'll be able to get another upgrade for it once we get the King's Ring. But to get the King's Ring, I have to fucking make it past not only the entrance of Drangleic Castle, but I have to kill Mirror Knight, or Looking Glass Knight, kill Mirror Knight, make it through Shrine of fucking Amana, and not only... See, here's something you missed, alright? You played Scholar Shrine of Amana. Shrine of Amana got fucking neutered in Scholar for good reason. You're going to see base game Shrine of Amana. This shit sucked. I've had maybe only one playthrough where Shrine of Amana did not indeed suck ass. Uh, in base Dark Souls 2. And even then, I think I just got lucky. So I have to make it through Shrine of Amana. Like, Blight Town suck? Blight Town's a fucking picnic. It's like a vacation in Venice, alright? Blight Town is... It's like visiting a family member that you're just kind of okay about, right? Shrine of Amana is, like, actively terrible. It is like, as soon as you are trying to progress, you're getting sniped from all angles by spells that deal, like, half your health. And on top of that, there are, these, uh, there are also these other dudes that rush at you with long-reaching weapons that also deal tons of damage and try to attack you. And even further than that, the whole place is covered in water with random holes in it 
So you can also just walk off the edge if you're too preoccupied, you know, dodging spells that are coming at you from every fucking direction and running away from a horde of mobs. Blight Town's like that friend you're just okay with, you know, Blight, Blight Town's like, uh, yeah, Blight Town's nothing compared to Shrine of Amana. So I have to make it through Shrine of Amana. <laughs> then I have to make it through the entirety of the crypt. <coughs> you think you remember? And what you're remembering is the easy version. You're remembering the scholar version of Shrine of Amana when they made it far easier to get through. Base Shrine of Amana is so much harder. Because I remember, I made a big deal about it as well when we were doing our playthrough. Just to find out when we got there, it wasn't, at, it wasn't that hard. And that's because they changed the placements of all the enemies and redid that area. But you're going to see what it was like before they did all that. But anyways, that underground blue glow area and the dark area, yeah, the area before the crypt. Um, make it through Shrine of Amana, and then I have to make it to, make it through the crypt, kill Vort, and then I can get the King's Ring. Huh. <coughs> All right, all right, all right. So, we've killed all four of the base game, guys. Uh, so now we're gonna go here at the Ruined Fork Road. There were some ogres, yeah, there's also some ogres here as well. And I think one of them we're gonna have to fight. Um, oh, also, Rusted Iron Twin Blade. Rusted Iron Twin Blade is in Shrine of Amana. I will be grabbing that. Because at one point in time, Rusted Iron Twin Blade was strong as fuck. I don't know if it's not anymore in this version of the game. Because this is still patched. It may be base Dark Souls 2, but it is still patched. So I don't know if that's something that happened in Scholar, or if it's something that happened in a patch before Scholar. But regardless, I will still be grabbing it. So... My current worries are Looking Glass Knight. I'm worried about fighting Looking Glass Knight just because of the, the ads. And um, I remember that boss being very dodge heavy. So like you have to be able to dodge certain attacks because they just have tons of tracking. So you kind of don't have a choice. Um, so I'm kind of worried about that. Uh, I'm worried about Shrine of Amana, but that's every playthrough. I'm worried about Shrine of Amana. Um, I'm a little bit worried about some areas in the crypt. Vort? I'm not worried about Vort. Vort's an easy boss, just through and through. I'm worried about Dragon Airy a lot as well. Um, because pre scholar Dragon Airy was also really hard.
How do you feel about a boss becoming regular enemies? I don't like it. I think that that's a bad thing. I honestly do. Uh, it, I, I feel that it cheapens the experience in consecutive playthroughs. Because now when you fight that boss in a consecutive playthrough, it's no longer a big deal. It's just like, oh yeah, it's just one of these guys. It's not really a big deal anymore. Like, I get it that it can kind of make you feel like you've come a long way, but for me it doesn't do that. Because nine times out of ten when there are, bo when there are bosses that become enemies, the enemies are weaker versions of the boss. It's not just the boss. Like, if you think of Taurus Demon and Capra Demon in Dark Souls 1, the enemy versions have way less health than the boss versions. So it's not like you're seeing how far you've come that you're doing so much more damage. Wait, what, is there no way through? What the fuck, bro? Come on. Hello? Um... Seek my your what? The fuck? Do I need to actually pop the souls? I'll pop them. I didn't think I did though. Hello? Like, I know I don't have the two million, but, like, it's, 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 it's either get two million or kill the four. I've killed all four. I killed Lost Sinner. I killed the Rotten. I killed the Old Iron King, and I just killed Duke DeFreya. Right? Like... What? <coughs> <coughs> like, I'm not forgetting anything, right? Like, that that is the requirement. I'll homeward bone. The fuck? Um. Do I gotta be human? Like. I don't think so. Where is the firekeeper? Bearer of the curse. Yeah. Seek souls. Seek the king. Lest this Bitch, what? Bro, I am so confused right now. I am fucking flabbergasted. <coughs> oh, yeah, Vengarl stuff. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice set, too, honestly. Can't beat the fucking all of a set though, man. The three souls you just popped, who are those? The other three main guys. I already popped um, the Rottens, I believe. I already popped one of them.
you know, I remember beating all three. Am I missing something? Do I have to be human? Maybe, okay, maybe I have to be human? Maybe that's it? Because the options for opening that door are either kill the four or have a soul memory above two million souls. Like, those are your options. I think you weren't supposed to pop them. That's not the case. That would be even dumber game design. That's not the case, though. not playing a new game plus seek my dear souls what the fuck bro am i just like fucking soft locked because like how many bonfire aesthetics do i have I can tell you the alternative. If this shit doesn't open, step one is going to be visiting all those four areas and making sure that the boss is dead. And then if they are, step two <coughs> <coughs> is to kill Rotten three more times, advancing his area into New Game Plus 2. Because what speedrunners will do, instead of killing the four the four guys, they'll just kill Rotten like three times. Three or four times. They'll kill him and then push the area into New Game Plus, kill him again, and just repeat that until he have two million souls. So uh, I, guess, I guess we're on our way to visit those four areas and make sure they're dead. Cause I don't fucking know like what else it could be. Um, we just got back from Duke's. Uh, I know what it was. I know what it was. It's more Dukes de Freya bullshit, is what it is. It is, yet again, it is Dukes de Freya trying endlessly to piss me off, even beyond the grave. That is what it is. That is precisely what is happening right now. So when you kill Dukes to Freya, you don't get the soul. Red Orb in the boss room? Yeah. When you kill Dukes to Freya, you don't get the soul. Instead, it drops the soul on the edge of the arena beneath this dragon's mouth. Again, just Dukes to Freya trying to fuck with me beyond the grave. 
That's all it is. That's just Duke's to Freya. Duke to Freya is one last fuck you before it leaves this mortal plane. I honestly feel like they could just delete Dukes to Freya from the game and just have it to where you walk into the arena and grab the soul and the game would be better for it. Because, like, think about it. It'd, it'd be so cool, like, for lore. Like, right? Like, you're so used to going to these arenas. It's been all this build up when you walk into the room and the boss is already dead. And there's just this, like, soul sitting beneath this giant petrified dragon... It's already dead. Like, it'd be so many, like, lore theories and shit people would come up with. Because, like, look at the alternative, you know? not going to the DLC. You can fuck off with that. The DLCs in these games are like really, and this game is really fucking hard. Some of them just I don't think are fun. Like they're so hard. Um, what is this? Repair. Yeah, okay. Is the DLC bad, though? I mean, in comparison to the rest of the game, I would say the DLC is probably better made. Um, however, <laughs> comma, they they are, like, brutal. They are, they are fucking brutal. Especially, like, the last one. The middle one's also really fucking hard the first one isn't that isn't that bad i would say the first one's only slightly harder than the base game and it's designed pretty well like all the dlcs are designed like uh visually and like aesthetically really well um it's just a shame it's still running on this game but uh they, they are fucking brutal Well, we're gonna try that again. To bring an end to your journey and mine. Okay, okay. Noted. Alright, cool, 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 cool. We're gonna try that again. Oh oh oh, oh you're done? Oh you're done. You're done, huh? Oh you're just gonna you're you're done? Okay. <laughs> but no, I always do the DLCs, uh it's alright, but it's pretty good. Like, if you've got a good build going, like, if you're, let me find a way to phrase this. If you're, if you're playing the game, and you got a good build going, and when I say that, I mean, like, your build is so good to where you're, you're not really getting upset at the game, right? It's like, your, your build is overcoming the bullshit that the game's throwing at you to where you're still having a good time. Um, I would, I would recommend trying out the DLCs, at least the first one, um, I would say let, let the first one kind of whet your appetite because the other two DLCs just get harder and harder, especially the last one. <coughs> but the first DLC I would recommend try checking out. It's, it's, it's pretty good, but it's, again more of this game so it's not exactly going to be the uh, uh well the best designed thing in the world 
No, come here. Okay, fuck you, just take it. Don't die. Okay, I got hit by a crossbow. I was preparing to dodge that Mastodon's halberd. I was not prepared to dodge a crossbow bolt. I completely erased that other guy from my object permanence. I would say the DLCs are probably some of the best um, designed content in this game. But it's just whether or not you want to put yourself through them is, a qu is the question. Like, do you want more of this game? Which is why I say, like, if you've been playing the game and you have a good build going that you feel comfortable with and you haven't really been struggling a whole lot in the game, like, you're not mad at the game... Um, I would say then go ahead and try the DLC out. Like, depending on how well my hex run goes. If, if it ends up getting really strong and shit, then sure, I'll do the DLC. But if I'm performing about on par like I am now, nah, I'm good. Like, to put it in perspective, uh, in Scholar, they didn't change any, any of the DLCs. All the DLCs remain the same as they were. So obviously they, they thought the DLCs were better made than the base game was. Oh, that dude's already activated. Cool. So now I just gotta activate the other side. Oh my god. Well, I was trying to spam it out. Aren't you in the in game right now? Fuck no. This is like the halfway point, dude. <laughs> this is like the halfway point of the game. What are you talking about? In the end game. <coughs> I still got Mirror Knight. Uh, song, Demon of Song, uh, Bort, uh, and then after that, the, the dragon in that cage, uh, then after that, Twin Dragon Riders, then after that, what comes after Twin Dragon Riders? Well, yeah, the end. Remember the castle being significant to the ending. Well, yeah, the the endings in the castle. I don't remember after Twin Dragon Riders, but then you still got the defend. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I have to go in the memory of uh, a la a giant to kill like that giant general. Uh, and then there's Watcher and Defender and Nashandra. And even then, I feel like I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting one. So even with me thinking I'm forgetting some, it's still like nine more bosses. Yeah, no, entering the castle is like the halfway point.
um, and hopefully the rusted iron twin blade won't have to upgrade with fucking petrified dragon bone. That would be awesome. Because petrified dragon bone's hard as fuck to find. And if it does upgrade with petrified dragon bone, I may just not even use it. Because <laughs> I've already put some into this weapon. As far as bosses I'm worried about, uh, as far as things I'm worried about, Mirror Knight, I'm kind of worried. The entire area of Shrine of Amana, I'm worried about. Um, I'm a little worried about the crypts. Not the entirety, just like a few a few places. Uh, Dragon area, I'm worried about. And Watcher and Defender, I'm also worried about. It's like I'm discouraged from even trying to take that seriously just because of how many fucking enemies there are. And this long ass run didn't really help. You know, I just realized, yeah, this is arcade difficulty, man. It really is. Like, back when uh, video games were first becoming a thing, they would sell games that were just hard as fuck because they wanted to justify the price tag of, like, a home video game. Um, and the reason they'd make them hard as fuck was because then it would take you longer to beat them. Like, for instance, right now, it's like, this is taking a long time just because I'm running back and forth to this castle. Uh, but yeah, they, they would make the game hard just so it took you longer to beat it so they could justify like the price tag of the game. Not to say that games weren't hard prior to that, but it was for a different reason. Well, I guess not really. I guess it wasn't really for a different It's still money. Like Arcane games were still hard for monetary reasons. Suits back against a fucking wall. Fuck you, piece of shit.
Man, that, that two that two hand sucks, man. Wasn't Dark Souls inspired by arcade difficulty? I mean, I don't know if arcade specifically, but uh, just games having older game difficulty, sure. But even then, I don't think it was that. If I remember correctly, the big part of the reason Dark Souls has a difficulty was because of the, the lore. I don't know if Miyazaki's ever said otherwise as to why the game is hard. It's like Demon Souls. Demon Souls wasn't like a super hard game. Hell, Dark Souls 1 isn't really a super hard game, I guess. Then define super hard this, this game. I wouldn't say it's the best example of good difficulty, but I would say it's an example of things being hard. Like it's, it's a shitty way to, to make it hard, but it's still hard. Like if you play Demon Souls and you tell me that game's hard, I'm just convinced you just play easy game you just play easy games. I would say like play the dip play the DLCs of Dark Souls 2. That's super hard. <laughs> like Demon Souls wasn't even, I don't, I don't think Demon's Souls was even designed with the intent of it being hard. It just wasn't, it just wasn't designed with like all the normal handrails that a typical game gives you, or a typical like action RPG gives you. But like my evidence for it not being designed with the intent of being hard is that all the boss fights are gimmicks. Like every single boss fight is a gimmick. You figure out that gimmick and you're at a significant advantage. I guess the only ex uh, the only exemption to that would be Flame Lurker. Because, like, I could very easily make the argument and the defense that you make for Monster Hunter World. 
It's like if you tell me that Demon Soul is hard, I could just say like it has a gimmick. Like take it, say, say like you're struggling on an armored spider, right? And like, man, that shit's too hard. I'm like, no. You just go and get fire resistant stuff. You go and prepare for the boss fight. You get fire resistant stuff, and you just slowly make your way forward. Which is the the defense that you get from Monster Hunter World, which is like, oh, you're supposed to prepare for all the fights individually. But even then, like nine times out of ten, you don't even need to do that. Yeah, I don't care. Just give me your shot, man. Lucerne. Oh yeah, these guys. I remember these dudes being fucking annoying. <coughs> <coughs> Wrong weapon. One more den. But yeah, if you want to see what my 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 um, example of super hard is, play the DLCs for this game. The DLCs for Dark Souls Two are super hard, or at least the DLCs in base Dark Souls Two. I haven't I haven't played them in. Scholar, but I don't think they changed anything in Scholar as far as the DLCs go, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same. And from what I remember, the difficulty is a little better in the DLCs, because just the game in general is better in the DLCs. I'm, dro I'm dropping down. Back up off me, fam. <coughs> <coughs> so yeah, that that statement. And I would love to see you try the DLCs in Dark Souls too. I would love to see that. I don't think you've ever done them, have you? I don't think you've ever even seen them. Nope. Yeah. There's three of them. The way you access them is every time you kill a primal, like those, uh, like the main four, it's like Lost Sinner, the Rotten. And uh, like the iron, the iron keep. Uh, it's like two of those. After you kill the boss, there's an extra room behind where the boss bonfire is. There's an extra room behind that that has like a. It's like a a, a bird a bird bath thing, with some like some stone snakes circled around it, and it has a little effect in the middle of it. And you go and interact with that and it teleports you to the DLC. Yeah, I need the King Ring to get through there. Damn, dudes, I really only get the King Ring. Fuck. Right before the end of the game. That sucks. I mean, didn't they change this in Scholar or something like that? I remember they changed something about this in Scholar that made it way easier. Oh my god, he took no damage from that. Holy shit, man. No! You fool! 
<coughs> I like your spear skills, though. Some dope moves you got there. I'm gonna two-hand R1, you guys. Boom. Feel it. Feel it! Alright. Oh yeah, I mean, I just always think this guy was gonna come alive. Like, all the statues here were gonna come alive. Isn't this trapped or something? Let me see. Oh yeah, this fucking guy. Okay. It's like, how can we fuck with the players here? Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, keep in mind right now, if I die, I go all... Oh, never mind. I, I touched a bonfire. We're good. Oh yeah, this room. Isn't there a chest in here in Scholar? I think there is. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that guy doesn't fucking move. That guy does not fucking move. Come on. I got a room for you. I think you'll like it. Oh, what's that? You don't want to come in and meet my friends? Are they not going to go off for them? Of course they're not. <coughs> Here, we'll fight in this room, then. <coughs> don't you walk backwards, you piece of shit. Come on. Can't I kick you? Put that shield up, big boy. What? What just happened? Alright, now you. Come here. Oh, now you want to move. Okay. Fuck you too. Nameless Usurper. I kind of already know who that is. So it's not very nameless. Alright. Do they come to me? Or do I have to go to them? I think I have to go to them. Yeah, they're in the back of that hallway. Come on. What's up, fam? Doing wonders for you, isn't it? Off. 
Fight me down here. You won't. No balls. <clears throat> oh, you waited for the enemy? Of course you did. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna try to parry. I don't even know if you can, I don't even know if you can parry daggers. This girl, by the way, is hard as fuck to fight. Uh, once you actually fight her, it's like it's it's so goddamn hard. She just uses a ton of fucking miracles, man. It's so hard to get in close on her, and then she heals herself. You're just gonna... What the, you're just gonna give me your back like that, then? Okay, I don't think we're getting a backstab on her, so I'm just gonna... Break her poise constantly. What are you doing? That's something I've noticed my character keeps doing. Every now and then, they'll just fucking turn the wrong direction mid-action. It's happened a few times when I'm parrying, and it just happened then when I was attacking. It's like they'll unlock mid-attack, and like they just start turning. There we go. Next fight is uh, twin dragon riders. Then after twin dragon riders, it's mirror knight. There's Nasan Nashandra. I'm not gonna even fucking talk to her. All right. So this is basically just kind of like uh, Orenstein and Smo. It's just a lot of backtracking. You get this guy to break that little stand. Then you just kind of do this little this little jaunt I'm doing right here. You just kind of keep uh, keep this up. Get him over here. Dodge this arrow. Then you run up to this guy. And you uh, unload on him for a little. Then you repeat the cycle. Until the until he's dead. The black one has less health. So he'll be easier to kill. I mean that still was kind of a heal, I guess. I'll take that hit, that's fine. God damn it. Oh, what? Everything hit me there? Are you fucking serious? That was a good heal? Okay. Yeah, this fight isn't too hard. It's just like orange and Smo. It's just a lot of bad a lot of running backwards. And just picking your shots, picking your moments. Get the guy all the way over here. There we go. Okay, he pulled out his uh, halberd because now he's in low health. I thought I had more stamina, but I didn't. Okay, he's dead. Now I just gotta not get killed by this singular dragon rider.
Another definition of super hard I would have is uh, Slave Knight Gale. Especially doing it magic only, like I did. <laughs> Not, actually, I did it magic only on New Game Plus. I did the entirety of the Ring City DLC on New, on New, DLC on New Game Plus. I would also say that the twin demon fight earlier in the DLC is also super hard. <coughs> <coughs> but Slave Knight is a good fight, so... That means nothing. Yeah, especially doing it magic only on New Game Plus like I did. That shit was hard. That shit was super hard. But I still do stand by as probably the best fight in like any Souls game. Um, my vitality's fine. I'm gonna upgrade. What does it take to wield? I want to look up what it takes to wield the rusted iron twin blade. Twenty six strength and twenty dex. All right. And while we're here, what does it take to? Uh, the scaling has been increased from C to into B to A, and the base attack rating has been significantly buffed from 180 to 340 with regulation 1.8. This, this Twin Blade has a different move set than others in its class. Ooh, nice. Um, it takes... It's a plus 10 weapon, so I'm going to assume maybe it's um, Twinkling Titanite. It doesn't really say. It doesn't really say, but I need 26 strength. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to start leveling up strength. Do I have any... Uh... No. So um, here, next fight is Mirror Knight, which means I have to go through this other room that I'm worried about, that I remember that they, um, they nerfed this room in Scholar. They did, totally did. I remember walking into this room in Scholar and being surprised, so... Uh, don't really remember what they changed about it, but I remember they changed it. Oh yeah, isn't it? It just 
in this room in Scholar, you can just kind of you can just automatically go toward the exit, and you can just leave the room. Because in base game, you know, you can't do that shit at all. You gotta wake some of these dudes up and fight them. Closer. There we go. You're a bitch. Just want you to know that. There's some shit in this chest, but I don't think I want it. I don't remember it being something that I want right now. I remember it being something to do with spells, so I'm not really going to worry about it a whole lot. Oh, uh, yeah, isn't there a giant horse in this room in Scholar or some shit like that? I think the washing pole is also in this room. I don't really remember a whole lot, to be honest with you. Go, you fuck! Okay, he made it. <laughs> oh shit. Go, 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 Okay. Isn't there also gargoyles up here or some shit that, Scholar? There's fire bitches in this room. Or, never mind, I guess that's Scholar. Uh, nice. <laughs> yep, okay. See you, loser. And uh, I think, isn't up here where the game turns into Silent Hill for a quick second for some reason? I think it is. If it's not, then I don't remember where that room is. Yep. It just randomly becomes Silent Hill for a quick second. I'm just gonna do that real quick. Soul Vessel, nice. Strong magic shield, that would have probably come in handy.
I'm kind of hyped uh, to play Scholar now. Because, <laughs> again, I, I'm completely open to the idea of my mind being changed. Because I went into this, I went into this expecting to, to find reasons that the base Dark Souls 2 is better than Scholar. But I'm fucking open, open to having my mind changed. I'm super open to it. Super open to the idea. Oh, dude, if I can get one of these guys' twin blade, I remember that shit being... Well, I don't remember it being great, but I, I remember it being a thing. Twin blade, hype, maybe, kinda, hopefully. Um, I don't think it's gonna happen, but it'd be cool. <coughs> uh, so I gotta hit these guys before they wake up. So, fuck you. He's gone. I'm gonna try to two-hand. It's probably a bad idea, but... Yeah, it was. Okay. Can I backstab you? Dirty bitch. Oh, you're a bitch. I know I already told you that, but that looks so cool. What did? Fucking mind. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yeah. So two handing a two twin blade? Too bad it sucks. <laughs> Too bad it's actually worse than one handing. It's actually worse than one handing. It just does so much less damage. It's where doing it is basically pointless. And the attacks have so much more recovery and wind up on them. It's where you're just vulnerable for so much longer. Like the two handed R2 barely does more damage than the one handed R2. Like here's the one handed R2. Boom. Right? You just pop it and you get it going. Here's the two handed R2. Look at all that fucking wind up. Only that final slash is actually an attack. The rest of it is just wind up on the animation. And it only does slightly more damage. So why would you do it? And the whole reason I was, I'm using Twin Blades is because I never used them in the, in the original game. Like, whenever I used to play, I never used Twin Blades. Okay, there's one. There's two. What the fuck, man? Go fuck yourself. Prick. Can I just not attack these guys? Like, am I just too slow? <coughs> that do be kind of what it feels like. He's gonna hit me from behind, isn't he? I saw him walking away, but I'm gonna hit from behind, isn't he? Because it looks cool? What? What is that re in response to? Why would you use it? Because it looks cool? Yeah, uh, ha you, you do that one more. You do that. With as fucked as this game already is, you go ahead and do that. You, you go ahead and sacrifice damage and put yourself in danger of getting hit even more. Just straight downsides. You go ahead and do that. 
I will leave that up to you. Did a fucking roll attack. 125, okay, not bad. So we're basically not R never R2ing in this fight, okay. Okay. Let's get an attack. Or not. Okay. And again, with, like, them doing this bullshit, man. It sucks. Why did, is that a, a design choice? The boss is taking less damage when they're in the middle of actions. That's so stupid. That's like anti-counter hit. get you. I tried to parry him. I fucked up. Jesus Christ, the tracking. Okay. And he's summoning another one. Oh, are you fucking serious? Like, they just get fucking sonic speed, like, whenever they're far away from you. 
That's just all the enemies in this game. Look at how fast he's going. That's a jog. Okay. Oh, fuck you, man. Oh, my God. Am I getting this off? getting this off, am I? Basically, no. So dumb. Between that and the fucking combo decay, it's the dumbest shit, man. fucking pressing a button that'd be fucking cool if it went through you know that'd be actually pretty fucking dope if you paid attention to the buttons that was pressing them when i press them that'd be like the coolest thing you could possibly do actually Fucking God, Okay, we're out of Estus. Fuck you. Actually, go fuck yourself. Six messages on get on Discord. <clears throat> Just another fucking person making me upset. <clears throat> Someone telling me they're playing Warframe and I know damn well that person just started and they're talking about how they're just just finishing Octavia Prime. 
as if I'm supposed to be happy that they bought something with money. Let me in. Okay. Is his foot breaking my guard there? And to think, Shrine of Amana is next. Really, uh, Encourage? Are you fucking serious? Just kill me. That ain't worth it. That was a lost run. That was a lost cause. Again, it's like his foot breaks my guard there. His sword's still in the air while my guard is broken.
can I say that I haven't already, you know? What the fuck ever? Actually, go fuck yourself, man. Where's the boss? Why does the R1 stun, but the R2 doesn't? What? Huh? Okay. I just broke like a threshold, I guess. Cool, glad I had uh, stamina for any point during that. Would have been better off just R one. <clears throat> ah. <sighs> Bro, oh my god. Actually, fuck. 
the people responsible for this game. <laughs> like, actually fuck them. Anybody who played this shit, who playtested this, and was like, that's brilliant. Let's do that. Yeah, they'll love that. They'll love that. That's fun. That's great. Man, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a cool idea. Actually never make a game again. <laughs> Matter of fact, studios need to hire you to have you on standby. And just any idea that you like, they don't put in the game. Because that, that automatically it's a bad idea. Again, his foot breaking my sheep, breaking my guard. Like I'm, I'm angry, and the having to cough is just making it worse. Like it's making it, I mean, it's like getting, making me annoyed. Surprise! It didn't hit me there. Can't roll forward, can't roll to the side. Where's the boss? If I had dodged that early on that attack any other point at any other point in time, I'm just super convinced he would have he would have like, turned midair and hit me. But for some reason doing it during the opening he misses.
So why did it work that time? God, uh, I hate the fucking rolling attack with this goddamn thing. Do something. What the fuck, man? Yeah, sure, that, that, that works every time besides that one time. Why? I don't know. Just cause. Just, just cause. Cause why not, you know? Cause fuck you. What's that, you wanna, you wanna play a video game? No, 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 no. this is a, this is just a, a giant program and encoded visual representation of go fuck yourself. That's, that's what this is. I'm 
like I can't even tell if it's you know it's the game um, but I can't tell which is making it worse the game or the twin blades because the twin blades have like such a bad move set and uh, it's just low damage where I'm stuck in these fights for so long it really starts to get to me Cool, cool. Honestly, go fuck yourself. I feel like I can't even say words to properly fit my anger. Honestly? <coughs> this feels like a rage game. Like, it feels like a game that's just designed with the sole intent of pissing you off. 
like uh, getting over it or fucking jump hero or whatever that game is called like it just it feels like one of those it doesn't feel like an actual game like the design choices made feel like they were there purely just to piss you off and for no other reason besides that Do something. Pressing circle, but you know what? I guess it's more of a suggestion anyways. Who am I to, you know, try to command the the almighty Dark Souls 2? attack. And now for Shrine of Amana. Wonderful. Man, I'm I'm so excited to have a fun time. Man. This is gonna be great. Awesome. Yep. Mm -hmm. So excited. Go 
up fire link. <clears throat> what did I need? Is that a here to see? However. It'd be great if Shrine of, um, Shrine of Amana was kind to me. That'd be awesome. Before we go any further, let me figure out where... Oh my god. I think I'm a DirectX 11. Or no, this is DirectX 9. Why can't it just fucking say... Scholar or base game. F, not control F, uh, alt F. No, get out of here. Control F. There we go. It never even mentioned the Red Iron Twin Blade. Like, it says you should get it in here, but then in this, like, entire walkthrough of the area showing you where all the items are, uh, it never mentions it. It just says at the end, equipment that can be found rest at the Red Iron Twin Blade.
Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, not seeing it at all. There's a different monkey page. Directly after emerging from the cave at Roy's resting place bonfire. So that's like at the entrance of the hell zone. Yeah. Okay. Not very specific directions, but that's about that's a, about as much as I'm gonna get from the wiki pages, I guess. <coughs> <coughs> All right. So now we just gotta make it there. guy here yeah there he is that's pretty decent damage I would like it at one shot but it's whatever Oh great, they take next to no damage. Awesome. Love it.
Crumbled ruins. Wait, it is... Roy's resting place is the bonfire it's hard to get to? Seventy percent. It's not very much. Just take it slow. I don't remember where any of the holes are either. Kind to me, Shrine of Amana. Please be. I block 100% of that? <coughs> <coughs> Please be kind to me. <coughs> I've been through enough for one day. I love how I didn't hear a giant fucking ogre in like knee high water coming up behind me. That was. 
was really cool. Right there is where it gets pretty hairy. Right here is when things go to hell. can't tell where the fuck the ground is.
What in the fuck? Kinda damage was that? Fuck everyone, fuck everything, man. Why is this closed? I did not... I left this open for a reason. They start doing so much fucking damage. Why do they just suddenly do like a third, like, like two thirds of my fucking health bar? Just suddenly. They're doing like little chips the whole fucking time, but right there, it's just like <laughs> thirds of your health bar every hit. And there's like 13 fucking them coming at you at once. My camera fucked up. Why am I fighting?
military time. Or summon. <coughs> Just angry. Now I remember there being a summon in this room, so I'm gonna kill this other one. The summon's also notorious for just killing themselves, though, so I don't know how much this is going to do. I'm taking the risk. Sorry, not sorry, Felicia. I just want to fight. I knew you weren't going to win. I knew you knew for knew damn well you weren't going to win. Did you win? fucking way you won. <coughs> Did you really win?
get it, Felicia. I'm going to let Felicia handle that. I've already touched the bonfire. Me and Felicia can continue, sure. This part isn't so hard. Um, I'm going to die probably here anyways, though. <laughs> Just because I'm going to try to figure out which one of these is a twin blade. Got it. Might as well keep looting. Well, can't say I saw that coming. But we got the rusted iron twin blade now. Or the red iron twin blade. Wow, it's lighter than this. That's crazy. What's this moveset like? Oh, that's... Uh, uh, well... Actually, what's the two-handle like? That's, that's better, actually. I like that. Oh, hell <laughs> yeah! Now we're in business. <coughs> okay, we're going to take a break. We're going to head back to Majula, look at some upgrade materials. Uh, I think this takes Twinkling Titanite, and if it does, we're going to pop up in that wiki and hunt down some Twinkling Titan. I just spent all my souls, man. Oh, I didn't actually. I guess I got some. So we did some upgrading, not a whole lot, but some. Oh, fuck, yeah. I've been damage starved this whole fucking playthrough, man. It's so nice to actually do damage for once. It's gone, but that doesn't really matter, honestly. Oh, we are doing damage now, boys. No more of this pity fucking 100 shit. Pitiful. And 
we get to test our newfound damage out on a boss, too. Hell yeah. Wasn't aware you had it like that. Okay. Noted. I don't think I really spent a whole lot of time getting hit by that boss in my original playthrough, so I just legit was not expecting that damage. I, I think I remember there being holes in that arena, so I was kind of weak, kind of scared there for a second. <coughs> <coughs> we can also go this way and get uh, infinite humanity, but not really something I need, honestly.
perfect time for the second jump scare. No. I don't remember being there. I don't remember which it was there. Upgrade this thing some more. chunks. I think once I get the king ring, she also starts selling chunks. But plus six ain't bad. <laughs> like, plus six is pretty good. Let's go by the all the hat, all the head. Let's go by that. Hello. go. Now we're ready to enter the crypt. Could have swore there was something around one of these corners. That wasn't that. I think maybe the bonfire is there and Scholar. Oh yeah, this guy. Oh, this room. Oh my god. 
god. Things are feeling good right now. Things are feeling pretty fucking good right now, I'm not gonna lie. Having, uh, having damage for the first time, shit's feeling pretty nice. Ready for this? Boom, boom, boom. Damn! It's good. I'm not gonna get these guys to move. Jesus, were they all the wrong ones first? Got what the uh, this I was trying to do this so that I wouldn't hit the bell, but it is what it is. Get fucked.
God, having damage feels so good. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I just gotta remember how to do Vort. I think it's like, I think it's you run away and try to bait that like uh, pulse attack he does, or that uh, like, like a try shot kind of thing. Maybe we'll go for his armor. I don't know. We'll see. the attack.
a bad spot for him to be in, but... Take it. GG. And you can fight this guy, but it's kind of pointless to do so. Nice. <laughs> All right, yeah. So we need one, three, six. Right? So one, then two, then three. Yeah. Visit me again. And I already have a slab. <sighs> there we go, boys. Let's fucking go, man. Fuck it, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna upgrade my armor as well. We are, we are rocking it right now. We are rocking it right now. And it scales with strength. <coughs> <coughs> Shit, didn't I say we were going to look at his armor? Look at getting his armor? I guess we could still do that. That, that's his name. I, I, I kept calling him Vort, didn't I? Fifteen pounds, man. Sixteen. 
Oh, it's fucking, it's better than what I'm fucking wearing by a long shot, man. So we'll buy it. All right. Can I live with this on? I mean, I can. Doesn't look that good though, honestly. That looks better. The legs don't really mesh well. Eh, it's a nice looking chess piece. Like, it has, it looks nice, good defense. I think I'll stick with what I got, though. really have to go here because like I have the king ring I, I could just not why do we go we need to go here so we can get the ash and mist heart we need the ash and mist heart so we can go fight that giant but why are we fighting that giant I don't remember. You're back? That's cool, man. What's up? You missed, like, everything. So, we have damage now. Like, good damage. This thing's moveset is pretty good. pretty good <clears throat> we're also past not only the castle we're past shrine of amana and past the crypts so you missed like three whole areas um and we're on our way <laughs> to this this place where'd you get it shrine of amana I got it from the Shrine of Amana. Like I said, you missed the castle, Shrine of Amana, and, and the crypt. I tell you, man, it's a world. Of, it's a world of difference. You don't gotta apologize. I'm like, I'm just letting you know what you missed. It's a world of difference actually having damage again, man. Having damage again feels good. fire over here. But yeah, my, my scholar playthrough is going to be, I'm going to have to do a lot of things, man. 
like, especially if I'm doing a hex run, I'm gonna have to like look up where a lot of, a lot of shit is and how to do a lot of things. I'm gonna have to save an NPC. Um, remember the requirements for certain things. I think do a quest line as well. Okay, here we go. I am going to fucking destroy you, you little f like you. You don't even know what you just walked into, man. You don't even know what you just walked into. Oh no. Goodbye. Oh yeah, this doesn't do this in Scholar, so check this out. This does this in base game. It doesn't do that in, Scho in Scholar. I, I don't think, did it? I don't remember it doing that. They took that out for some reason. Giant Basilisk. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll fight the Giant Basilisk. Why not? <coughs> 2,000 damage. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> 2,000 fucking damage. Got damage now, boys. Damage is upon us. This is a. I have this thing fully upgraded as well. Thank you. Oh shit, I forgot there was another one. No, you dumbass, don't fucking swing. Alright. Upgraded? Yes, but very little. Because it required petrified dragon bones, which are it's a very hard resource to find. Meanwhile, this thing <coughs> literally only requires uh, regular ore. <coughs> oh my god, it's already a third of the way dead. Holy shit. So that was one pass. <laughs> Okay. 
Uh oh. So yeah, the other turn blade was upgraded. Uh, it's like plus two, but even the red iron twin blade unupgraded did way more damage than this with the upgrades. So uh, we're on easy mode now, boys. <laughs> we got damage again. We're on easy mode now. I'm not really worried about mini fights anymore. My worry was my damage being so low. Yeah, not anymore. Still Watcher and Defender a little bit. I'm still worried about them a little bit, but not not but not a whole lot. The, I, the reason I'm worried about them, I don't have much uh, experience fighting them solo. Memories, yeah. It was my own manifestation that led you here. The ancient dragon has watched over the world for eons past. Take this. Do not resist. The dragon welcomes you. Her. I'm going to kiss her with the blade. Time to upgrade more strength because this thing scales with strength. And it has an A scaling as well, so... Dragon Airy, um, I'm really only worried about the last little bit of this area. Everything before that should be fine. But the last little bit I am I am kind of worried about. I don't really remember which direction to go, so I can't say I'm going to head exactly toward where I need to be, but we'll get there eventually. It was super easy to level up. Need to level up was low. Yeah, you can level up pretty fast in this game. I don't really see that as like a downside, though. If anything, I see that as more of a positive, because it means you can get your build go. It means you can get your build going faster and kind of do what you want to a lot quicker. Like, a lot of people hold that against this game. It's like, oh, it's so easy to level up. It's like, I don't really see that as a negative. I like the idea that I can start the game and get Dragon Rider to kill himself and then relatively go ahead and get my build started. 
pretty early on. It's not like the game gets super easy or anything like that, you know? Like, the game's definitely still, still hard. That way, so you don't have to wait until like halfway through the game just to get your build going. <coughs> oh, I was going the right way. Cool. Muscle memory just led me there. Nice. So, this bridge, if you take too long, a dragon will come by and break the bridge while you're on it in like a cutscene. Here is the bit that I'm, I'm kind of worried about, because this area can, can get a little hectic. Dude, leave me alone. What do you want? gonna rest I didn't really use anything uh, let's do a damage check against this guy oh yeah oh 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 yeah oh yeah we got the good shit boys <laughs> we, can, we can go ahead and grab a dope outfit right here as well This outfit. Hell yeah. Did you just nut a little bit? Not gonna lie. Check that shit out, fam. You bitch. that to me. Come here. Prepare for judgment. Ah, oh, fuck. I got greedy. something good over here. I remember there being something good over here. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Free bonfire aesthetics. Pretty good. What's, a, what's the one hand damage life, I wonder? Oh, it's still good. It's still good. Even the one hand damage is good. You can get the washing pole in this area as well.
Okay, let's actually fight this guy. Get fucked. Whole lot of good that did you, didn't it? Whole lot of good that did you. Okay, this was a little hard, I remember. So here's what I propose. Proposal accepted. Now this this moment is so much better in Scholar. This shit right here is so much better in Scholar. This is all you get in the base game. This is all you get. And they're automatically aggroed. Yeah, this, this is all you get. <laughs> it's pretty sad, honestly. Compared to Scholar, this shit is, like, so sad. Daddy D. Yeah, and like you can fight him, but it's like, again, it's you do next and no damage, and he just kind of one shots you with everything he does. It's not a good fight. So now we got the Ash and Mist Heart, so now we're gonna go fight the. Honestly, I could finish this game tonight. I'm kind of up for that. Um, not that you have to stick around for all that, but uh, I'm kind of up for that. Um, where the fuck? Oh, up. Yeah, Cardinal Tower. Okay. Because we, we only have three bosses left. There's three bosses left in the game. And at the, at the rate that I'm on, it probably won't be more... It'll probably be like another hour. Not, not even, honestly. I'd say an hour is like the longest this will probably take. But I, fuck yeah, I'm on track for that, man. Totally. Beat this game tonight, start Scholar tomorrow. Hell yeah, let's fucking go. Actually, let me go uh, buy more life gems real quick before we do this. Because I remember this fight can be a little rough sometimes. So I'm just going to buy some life gems just in case. This fight can e I guess it's one of those fights that can either be really easy or really hard. Alright. Here we 
go. Good damage. Fuck yes. Let's get him away from this wall. can't entirely see. That's why I want him to get away from this wall, but he's not really giving me a choice. God, the moveset of this thing is so fucking good. Now, if he doesn't, cool. I'm literally about to beat the game. See ya. I'll see you, man. Okay. More strength. Or actually, no. Let's go with stamina. Yeah, endurance for sure. <coughs> Wait, can I buff this thing? Do I even have a buff? Like a pine resin? Three points of stamina, yeah, that's not really worth. I'll just put it in strength. Alright. I don't I don't expect to do both fights in one run, I'll probably do one fight and then die. Um, if I'm even able to get through that first fight, honestly. Hey, didn't they put uh, some enemies down here in Scholar?
This might take a minute. I just gotta pick better. I just gotta <coughs> pick better moments. Yeah, it really puts things into, into perspective of, like, I was, like, just mad because I had low damage and that, like, made the fights take longer and just kind of, like, uh, compounded my frustration. For real, I think it was that. It, it's, I don't know. I might just uh, kill her, let him res, and then while he's res, do it like a Prince Lothric, essentially. Just like a, let him res, but just fucking wail on him while he's re reviving her. 
If I was smart, I would kill him first, but we'll just try this since she's lower health right now. Does the res only go one way? Does she only res him? I'm fine with being cursed. Never mind, I'm not so fine with being cursed. It's about the same range as Smelter Demon's AoE. Fucking she's dead. <laughs> <coughs> I guess I did do them for both, both first try. Holy shit. Crazy what happens when you get when you when you got damage again. Crazy, right? Well, that was Dark Souls 2. Um got way more frustrated than I thought I was going to. But I do think my frustration was contained to Iron Keep and the Looking Glass Knight, the Mirror Knight. Yes, I think it was definitely contained to those two fights. Um, and a little bit in front of Amana, but once I got Red Iron Twin Blade, holy shit, dude. Holy shit, that does damage. So 
So yeah. I'm looking forward to playing Scholar now with this experience fresh in my mind. But yeah. That's it. That's Dark Souls 2, the original Dark Souls 2.